Hello everyone, this is Twitchador and today I will do my July bullet journal setup. I was thinking about a theme for a while and I was thinking to go for watermelon and suddenly I just feel like lemon and lemonade. Before I start, I'm gonna show you my journal because some of you are asking which brand it is. Actually, I don't know <laughs> what is the brand. As you see, there's nothing on the cover. There was something on the back, but I just ripped it out to keep the mystery. <laughs> it was something Chinese or Japanese, I don't, I'm not even sure. And I bought it from like a dollar store or something. I just feel the papers were nice, so... Sorry, can't inform you about it, but anything you feel like comfortable and page are not so thin can be okay to use, I think. Anyway, I start with my cover design. On the first page, I'm gonna put a jar of lemonade. Well, my theme is like lemon and lemonade mixed well. It's not something super different than each other, so I think it's gonna be okay. So here I'm drawing a like kind of lemonade with some lemon slides in it. Even though that I don't like the color yellow much, so I'm gonna use some orange and green shades in it. You can go for like plain yellow if you wish to. I'm more or less done with the painting part, so I'm gonna add some details with my gel pen now. I'm using this pilot pen that I'm in love with, and this is 0.3, I think. It's super good, I don't know why, it's super tiny and it's not messing around, so I will totally recommend it to you also.
I think I'm done with this design. It looks quite okay. Maybe I can come back to it and add some more details later, but for the moment it's okay. So I'm gonna go to the right side of the page and put a little calendar over here. Yeah, I'm gonna put a like little branch of lemon tree here and tiny calendar of July besides. It's gonna be super simple actually. are done. Those pages are more like a presentation actually to my journal. I'm doing like more art things here so inside the journal I'm not gonna do lots of painting and thing. I'm, I prefer to keep it more simple. Anyway let's move on to my first page here. I'm gonna put a like giant calendar of July. This section is amazing because I'm like filling in those boxes with what to do or if I have an appointment or if something that I should remind myself later even though sometimes I'm putting summary of my day so I don't know, I really find this calendar super useful by the way, to design this page I kind of copied it from a Pinterest pin they were an like, amazing calendar page that I really fall for and I didn't have lots of time to do my setup so uh, this page I really like inspired 90% from this other artist I don't know but I'm linking it down below if you would like to take a look at I done with this page also, I'm just erasing my reference lines underneath and now I think it's good to go. I don't know, I really love it. It looks so refreshing, like happy and simple in the same time. It's an amazing setup. So let's move on to the next page. On the left side here, I'm gonna put my habit tracker. I always use this section. I mostly track the same habits uh, and this month is gonna be more or less same, just one of them different. First, I start with putting my title on.
This month I decided to go with a different template. I'm just putting two lines and I'm gonna put the dates inside it to don't confuse uh, while I'm tracking the habits. As, and as you see, I didn't put lots of design around. When I like uh, wanna fill the page, I don't like to have lots of design around it, then it looks super messy to me. So I prefer like kind of simple. I don't know if you can call it simple, but yeah. <laughs> After I put the name of my habits, which is gonna be a workout, food, which is the day that I eat healthy, and Maya, the 3D program that I am like trying to practice daily. And the last one is search. Actually, it's research. I'm doing research about something related to my job, and I just wanted to track it and make it like more uh, regular. Yeah. I'm kind of done with the habit section, so there's a gap, little gap on the bottom of them. I'm gonna put an income section here. This month, I really wanna track my incomes and expenses so I thought like a little part for it can be useful. After I did my like last touches I'm erasing my reference lines and I'm done with this page also so I can move on to the next one. Here I'm gonna put my video planner. I always use it but this time I'm gonna change the template a little bit. This page is for my YouTube videos as you can understand. And maybe you don't know, I have a Turkish channel and it consumes lots of times and sometimes it's super confusing when you deal with the two channels so it's better to like organize everything, write down everything when I'm gonna publish, when I'm gonna shoot a new video, when I'm gonna do the translation, etc. Et so I totally need that kind of section in my journal. Also, I keep it quite simple. I just divide my template to like seven days. The weekdays should be like smaller because I'm not gonna put down lots of things. But Saturday and Sunday is my publishing day for Turkish and English channel, so I need a like bigger area for it to plan everything down. So I think it's good enough. So we can move on to the next one. Here I'm gonna put my weekly planner. I used this section for the last couple of months, and I think it's the like my must page. I don't know, all the pages are my must page, but this one I think the one really make my life way easier than it is. If you're working from home or if you're like studying regularly and if you want to track it and if you want this process to go smoother and easier, this actually really helped me out. I'm just planning my week on the weekend so I know what I'm gonna do and I'm not having like over tasks and I'm not feeling overwhelmed. It's very easier to see what I can do, how much job I have to do. So it's quite nice while you're home and when you don't have a boss or a professor beside you to tell you what to do and you are your own boss but you feel lazy. Well, yeah, sum up. <laughs> this section really helps me out to organize my work.
I simply divide it to five, one per each week and I use some of my washi tapes to like have a little touch of them in the journal. It looks quite cute actually. So I can move on to the next and the last page now. Here I'm gonna put my notes. Actually, I couldn't decide what I should do, what kind of like template I might use because this month I'm moving from one country to another and probably I will have lots of things to do, but I cannot uh, preview it. Like I'm not sure what kind of things I have to do, how long it's gonna take, what should I actually plan or remind myself or like track down. So I wanted to have a like kind of empty page so I can use it whatever I really need to use it for. And here we are. As you see, I keep the design simple also. I will need an empty blank page, so that's gonna serve well, I think. bottom corner I decided to add a like bottle of lemonade kind of or like detox water you can call it also to just have something and don't leave the page like fully empty and after I add my last touches I think I come to end of my journal I hope you guys like it and enjoy watching my video I tried to keep it simple and it was a bit in a rush moment so I couldn't put lots of energy and lots of like creative ideas in it but anyway it still looks okay if you do the similar journal don't forget to share it with me on instagram thanks a lot for watching guys i'll see you very very soon on the next video ciao